the weird begins. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the worst bit. The waiting. Not that I'm impatient. <laughs> One minute past. <laughs> that's true. But, <laughs> but good evening, everybody, and uh, welcome to not the grumpy vapors. Well, story with late stew. Yeah, story with late stew, and 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 anybody else that may be there. But we are we are here. Hi. Hello. Hi, Hello, everybody. Hi, Ryan. Hi, son. How are you all? And how's, how are you tonight, Bunny? Vapor, vapor Bunny S, how are you? I'm exceptionally happy. And why am I GP exceptionally happy? Oh, don't tell people yet. <laughs> oh, you've done it. <laughs> why are you exceptionally happy? <sighs> I'm exceptionally happy. Oh. Ryan can hear us good. Ryan's had a stressful day. Why have you had a stressful day while Bonnie strokes her, strokes her new mod? Ryan, I'll tell you why. I gave you my job for a week, mate, then you know what stress is. <laughs> hey, Barry. Evening, Barry. Inbred British people. <laughs> yeah, I deal with them on a daily basis. Yeah. Make it to make matters worse, they're usually hungry inbred British people. <laughs> yeah, but Ryan has them on the end of a phone shouting at them. I suppose, yeah. I just hate to feed them. <laughs> Good evening, Astray. Hi, Astray. Yeah, stroke it three times, Vic will appear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bonnie has joined the, uh, the ranks of the elitist. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yeah, she has. Okay. Was her while while we're on it, Bonnie? Why mm -hmm. don't you tell us what you're vaping on? <laughs> um, it's uh, some you know little like thing that you put batteries in uh, with an atomizer on the top, uh, which goes by the name of Gold G Class. Yes, uh -huh. I finally own one. So yes, got that today, courtesy of. Mr. Daniel Casey, the absolute legend that he is. <sighs> Love you, Daniel. <laughs> so yeah, Evening, I today with me, uh, Gold AF on the top, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, Evening, Rainbow. I got this. Even Brew. Even Hi, Brew. Hi, Guy. Hi, Hersin. Hi, Steve. Everybody else that I've missed. Well, I got this set up this afternoon, or this evening, should I say, and I had a bottle of juice sitting that I thought, yeah, I'll put my nice new lemon juice into this, and I thought, it's going to be lovely. Mm -hmm. Because it is called Lemon Meringue Tart. And I thought this was going to be absolutely gorgeous. Boy, was I wrong. Mm -hmm. This has to be the most foul-tasting lemon I have ever had in my life. Most foul-tasting, chemical-based, absolutely mm -hmm. horrendous, vile, nearly make you throw up. Just yeah. So I had uh, put a couple of drips onto the dripper, and that is all I have had of that. So that will not be getting used. Uh, that will be getting flushed down the toilet, probably. So I changed it up and put some Tickle Me Pink in it instead. And it you is absolutely Dion? glorious. Hey, Dion. Uh, yeah, it's uh, spook juice that makes it. So ashtrays, I would avoid that one like the plague. <laughs> it's just really nasty. Um, I had another one from uh, Spook Juice. It was uh, pineapple and lime with a touch of menthol in it. And it was really, really nice, given I, I don't do menthol. I didn't like it, it either. I thought it was really, really nice. But that lemon one, I was so looking forward to that lemon one. And I was so disappointed when it was so crap. I really was. Evening, Bill. Hey, Bill. Yeah, Bill, look. I got it. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh yeah, her scene in these rec rolls. I saw that earlier. That made me chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Bill's congratulating you in the G class. They're common as muck. Much, common as muck now. No, they're not. But that's not all I'm vaping on because I've got my G box here as well, which I picked up uh, Monday. 
and in that I have some rather luscious strawberry donut dude from the lovely Alex, of course. Yes, gorgeous juice. So that's me. What about yourself, my dear? What are you vaping on this evening? This evening, I've got G box. Ooh. I can't see a thing. Is that a wasp <laughs> nano I saw on top of there? It is. I decided to take the radar off. In Japan, stick Z wasp nano one. Yeah. Okay. I have to say that that looks really, the really nice on there. Oh, the pushy plastic one. Yeah. And in the, in that. Hi, Craig. I have got Captain's custard. Vanilla custard. Ooh, yummy. From Titanic. That's yummy stuff, that is. I also have my Revenger. Is it the Kenzai? Kenzai, mm. Kenzi, Kenzai. <laughs> oh, open the juice. And in this, I have what I find to be the third best juice at Expo. Just to wind you up even more. Have I told you I have really gone off you this week? Strawberry Mirage. <laughs> Mandarin. If you're going to annoy me, at least get it right. Come on. I have to annoy you for saying Strawberry Mirage. You know, us, <laughs> us, us in the know is Mirage. Hi, big guns. Hi, you BJ, mate. <laughs> um, yeah. And you that. forget, big guns, I'm older than you. Stop it. <laughs> uh, that was, as I say, the third, to me, the third best just in Expo. Well, one of the top three just is in Expo. I have to agree with you there, definitely. That was one of the better juices. And believe me, I sampled a lot of juice at Expo, but that was one that I kept going back to. It was really nice. Oh, and uh, yeah, the last sorry, <laughs> that's exactly what I was about to say, by the way. <laughs> Bunny, and, Bunny and Roy, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, yeah, and then Gary's asking why he's calling me a beast. <laughs> Here, BJ, I know you love me, mate. <laughs> right, you're going to hate stop tarting about because Daniel's going to get jealous. Here, Daniel's got Zan. All right, enough. Yeah, there's a new bromance going on there, isn't there? Yeah, I've blown out for the, I've blown out for Zan. So I was. Well, I happen to agree with you there. The watermelon kiwi is absolutely gorgeous, but for me, the best juice that I tried at Expo was the uh, strawberry pina colada from Tony's E Liquid. Yeah, that was one of mine, and the other one's that ocean one up at the very back in the lovely funky bottles. That what? Three caps. What? Ocean. They're the funky bottles, that, the funky boxes that had, had like a cap oh, on them. Oh, aye. They were lovely. Surprisingly. Yeah. I was I was, I was, was really surprised by those. And, hey, and don't Bill, you come. No, that one's better, mate, than, than watermelon. Yeah. In my, in my opinion. The, the flavour lasts longer. Uh, hey, don't you come. Don't you come. I'd love to know who's giving away a gold G-class. Funny is. Am I? Am I? Really? I've only just got it and you think I'm giving it away? Hell no! Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Thor wasn't there in October. Uh, no, not Thor as in. No, um, I know who he means. The yeah, one around, around half neck, it was blonde yeah, hair and. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, Noel, you weren't the only one. There were a few of the ladies were wanting to get their hands on him too. And Phil, double drip. Um, I haven't. Tr I can't answer that for you because not tried, or not fully tried. I mean, I sampled the egg all the way around. I've tried this a few. This doesn't stick in my mind. I've tried a few of the double drip. The double drip. The one that I really like was the uh, raspberry sherbet. I really, really liked it. Rainbow, more chance of a hex giveaway? Not a chance in hell. <laughs> Bunny doesn't give away her mods. <laughs> someone, on the, someone on the screen is a sport elitist. Uh, yeah, I would totally agree, BG. Someone is an elitist. And it certainly ain't me. 
Well, I can't afford. I can't afford to join those ranks. And Ryan, I, I personally, son, I don't know how you, how you could be really enjoying it. But I must. I, I really must improve improve your flavor palette. Well, I really must. What cola bottle juice is it? What? IBG. What brand? The IBG. What? Oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> to exactly. be honest, uh, the cola bottle is probably one of theirs that I haven't yet tried. But of the ones that I have tried are there so far. No, I don't like them. <laughs> I just I don't know what it is about the IBG juices, but I just tend to get plastic. I get chemicals. Daniel loves them, but that's him. Talking about, well, taste talking is about subjective juices. at the end of the day. Yeah, talking about talking about juices, I got three new juices for review today. Woohoo! Do tell. Yeah, he's a little bit bored of me talking about Titanic, but um, James, at Titanic is turning into a custard monster. Because oh, yeah, that's right. He released his new flavours, didn't he? We have got Captain's Custard, Cornflake Custard. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a wee sneak preview. I'm right here. Doesn't mean to say you can't watch the reviews when they go up. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say, are we getting a mini review on screen? Live juice review, folks. Ooh. I'm telling you. <laughs> Read the reviews. Watch the reviews. Swine. <laughs> um, the custard, the custard one. Sorry, the cornflake custard. It's like the wee custard square, or the wee cornflake squares you got at school with caramel, and then the custard poured over the top of it. That sounds nice. Lemon curd custard. Ooh, you rang. And butterscotch custard. Mm. That's to go with the other four custards. <laughs> so he is turning. He's turning into a custard freak. Did he make a tobacco menthol custard? Brie wants to know. We have one person that would be all over that. Yeah, uh, Andy. <coughs> tobacco menthol custard for Mr. Summerfield. I'll have to. I, I'll have to speak to James. <laughs> Hey Mush. Hey Mush. The wee problem, what to get at Expo? The struggle is real. What are your options, Rainbow? Rainbow Mod, Rainbow Tank, Rainbow Dripper, Rainbow Curry Sack. Some unicorn juice. Some unicorn juice. Yeah. Um, some, some, we'll get wee rainbow bags for you. Well, he went in May last year, he was, he had his heart set on getting the Manikin Kadama, and he got it. Uh, but now it doesn't work. So, are you going to go along the stab wood route again, or are you thinking mech mod or um, Arctic dolphin or something like that? Talking about talking about mods and, and things like that. One of the groups that, that I happen to be in is running a raffle. There's a hundred numbers for five quid. A time um, for a purge squonker. The five hundred quid one. Oh, is that the the raffle on uh, Ohm Hunters yeah. Facebook group? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they uh, they done the purge mic mod the tube a um, couple of weeks ago, and Christ, that sold out in record time. So that so. I think, um, if memory serves, that uh, that was the one that won. They put a poll up to see what they were going to do next, didn't they? Yeah. And I think that was the one that uh, got the highest numbers. So they've done it for the two, the two recent um, raffles that they've done. Mm. So Gary sinking the rainbows, sinking it down Stabwood, maybe a DPM. Not a like V3. Or DPM, like or the Evo. Evo. I thought an Evo was a Mitsubishi. It was a car. <sighs> Noel's getting an Infernal Squonker, which will be the last big spend I make. Oh, the Infernal is... Uh, Hersene, if you can throw in a link to a, a picture of that one to let people see that one. A Mixy Beast. A Mixy Beastie? <laughs> he means a Mitsubishi. 
<laughs> Vic's going to buy a shed and a dog for Gary. <laughs> nice one, Vic. <laughs> oh, yeah, Vic, look. Even Vic, what? How the heck are you, Victor? How's the throat? What I really want to know How's is, the has, has the wee herd of baby elephants left his head yet? <laughs> what the fuck? Everyone's getting a go to class but me. Oh, Victor! <laughs> <laughs> you got two D classes. Yeah. I doesn't have a gold one though. That's. Although they did send him that, uh, Smock sent him the gold Majesty, and they've also sent him the gold um, X Prev kit as well. No, um, big guns. Nobody actually said Keck. Bunny rubbed her mod three times. The um, she stroked her G class three times. So that's how we have been. That's why Victor appeared. No, Victor appeared because he heard there was some talent on screen. So. Which screen? <laughs> yep, there you go. Click on that wee link that her scene has put in and you'll see the uh, mod that he's talking about by him. Uh, no. That's one of those ones with this. No, it's a square squonker with the bloody squonk thing in the middle of the, or the side of the square. It's, how the hell could that be comfortable? I, I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, you know, I do like it. The squonk bottle has to be there. And nice, it's just nice and, nice and gentle to squeeze. And it's because I've got nice little delicate hands. and maybe people Delicate my arse. <laughs> my hands are delicate. Are you trying to say they're not? Not when they're bloody well trying to tickle me, they're not. Yeah, true. <laughs> Oh, what are we at? So, what's everybody in chat vaping on the night? Any new shinies on the go, or new juices that people like? Or? No, it's the oh, amber one, Gary. Oh, the amber one. Yeah. Mhm. Mm it's a bit fishy plastic. Yeah. <laughs> three months, three days, three three hours, forty minutes, and thirty nine seconds. Yay! Just think he's anyway. Barry, Hi, Vic has come to see what <laughs> Vic has come to see what content looks like just in case <laughs> during the live show. <laughs> I and I <laughs> Oh uh, Ryan, I love you! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, nineteen minutes. Oh god. Um, hi Daniel. So Vic has got a normal G class because I'm poor, another G class because I'm poor, a Dreamer mech mod and other stuff. Yeah, because you're poor. Craig got a G class on Saturday. Ryan, I'm going to ignore. <laughs> yes, you, Brian. Craig, Craig won a couple of things at the auction on Sunday. Nice one, Craig. <laughs> yeah, Gail said that you were there. Uh, I would have loved to have went, but I just I was ill and I wouldn't have been able to get the time off work to go over either. So I like Zan's idea. Let's have an orange t-shirt comp. No. Wet orange t-shirt comp. No. <laughs> no again. <laughs> the orange t-shirt will not see the light of day, ever. Not in this network. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, put in the phone tie so I can tell Dad how shit man you've been. Cheers. <laughs> oh, watch for the bromance in chat. <laughs> Bill Byrne, 5G class, 2Q mini. Uh, Pulse, five. 4, Umi AVLS, 2Q 1.5, Deed Rabbit, SQ. All big recipes. Come and do an air jump on Killer Custard. <laughs> and that's just for tonight, Bill. I'm guessing you've got, like, are you a spider? <laughs> you know, that's a bit overkill, you know? Like, I'm feeling alright sitting here with Tay. Aww. 
<laughs> they can uh, fur orange shirt. Ronnie doesn't love you anymore. <laughs> uh, big guns I love that shirt and yet that shirt will probably never leave this house but I will never wear it on cast again not after last time Dan's crying why <laughs> he just appeared and disappeared again yeah because I said I wasn't going to be wearing the orange shirt on cast again it's alright we've got pictures We've got video to remind us. No, stop it. <laughs> what is it? Number six on Google search? Uh, I think Images. after the amount of times it got searched on Sunday night, it had been bumped up to number four. <laughs> uh, don't like sticking to the same video. Uh... Well, yeah, I can see your point there, uh, Bill. But having seven on the go at the one time, you know, for me it's a bit of overkill. I, the most I usually ever have on the go would be three. But there's only, you know, there's only three juices, isn't there? Oh, uh, all fixed recipes. Three, four, five, six. Six juices. And seven mods. Daniel's been on the same flavour for two years now. <laughs> Use your traits against Machine Three. Yeah, but Daniel, how many how many juices did you have in the one tank this evening? Did he do your trick and just dump a lot of ones into one bottle or something? No, he started off with one and went uh, no. And he tried Four. To <laughs> no, no. Okay. No. Really is number four now. <laughs> it, was, it was lovely. He gave me a go, but I thought it was actually quite nice. Fair enough. Stuart Nevin has seven on the go when he's in the truck. Yeah, but Stuart, you're a truck driver, so you get stressed. I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody well ask what you're doing. I think it's five recipes now. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. Double another two. Not so very long ago. I have four more to go. Well, I've got two there. I've also got my my Elise. I have to say, I still can't believe the bargain I got with that mod. I really can't. There's a weird of it now. Daniel, I'm just that damn good, mate. That's how I managed to turn it on. <laughs> uh, Daniel, I got. I, she handed it to me, and like I moved the nipple. I touched the nipple. I think they might get excited, but I didn't. No, he just fucked about with it, and he had to give it back to me so that I could put it back to the way it was. Evening, uh, vaping Patsy. Hi, Pasty. 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 I have balls. I know, for some reason, I've been obsessed with my new box. Yeah. Um, That's yeah. always nice when that happens, Sonic. You, you know, you dig out an old old faithful and you forget just how good it is, especially if you haven't used it for a while. <clears throat> Craig, you got to vote for me for that, mate. The Vic Shuffle and the Vic... No! I'm taking small to leap at the steps. Craig, he does shuffle the world. <laughs> I don't have to, sure. Uh, I put the batteries in it, I switched it on, I messed about with the menu until I had it set to how I wanted it, and it's good to go. The only thing I haven't done yet is uh, set the proper time on the clock. I haven't like uh, gone into that much detail with it, I just wanted to get it fired. <laughs> I didn't notice him shuffling. Mm -hmm. Hi, Gail. I wish I could go to Expo. Only two problems. It's too far away. And two, I hate people that aren't BUK and casters. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey Kong, uh, I don't do people either, but you just sort of have to look through them. 
<laughs> oh, Rambo. <laughs> Before we started, <laughs> hiya, girly bobs. Uh, Vic, um, you see, if you just go on to Google search and just type in Vapor Bunny, you will find loads of pictures with me wearing that orange shirt, okay? <laughs> you don't need the video. <laughs> Vic, I can, I can, I can, I can PM you the, the, uh, the link to it. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I think I think Vic should do a shout up shout out in his next WhatsApp. No. Return of the return of the no. orange shirt. No, no, and no. <laughs> uh, right, Sonic, don't buttons. you bloody well start. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I make Vic look like a fast walker. Uh -oh. No, Hersene, I, th I think Vic was Hersene, still over. we're, we're going to get you a mobility scooter for this time, and we're going to pimp it out with fluffy dice and get the streamers hanging off the handlebars and shit. So. Yes, it's the one from last summer. Oh, good God. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Irish Vapor Channel. How are you, Shane? Hi, Shane. Hi UK Andy. Hi Andy. I tell you what, that's an entrance from Kerrigan. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> How do you make an entrance in style? Boom. Hold on, this is Kerrigan. She's a very stylish lady. She doesn't know how to make any other kind of entrance. The McLaren. <laughs> Stuart knows the McLaren. <laughs> what a fun. Yes. <sighs> okay, I'm there to have. <laughs> Hi, Belinda. <laughs> Good evening, Belinda. Oh, Belinda and Duke Andy come in at the same time. Ooh. Well, not to start conspiracy theories, though. Didn't you like it? I did notice. I did notice that Daniel and Zan come in about the same time. Yeah, you seen that too, huh? Yeah. Mm. Daniel need to be quiet though, we're waiting the wee lad. <laughs> I just got my Oh, tell us more. What's what was the notification? When's it coming? When's it coming, balls? When's it coming? When 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 when? You upset reviews. He was helping me. In the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Reach around it. <laughs> no, I'm not going there. That's a mental image that this bunny doesn't need. <laughs> I wish Guns was coming over to the expo. I so wish he was. <laughs> to be honest, it was a bit dry. <laughs> I had a Mexican scratch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> mind bleach. Mind bleach. Yeah. There's no amount of mind bleach in the world that can get rid of that image. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, but yeah, I wish BG, uh, BG was coming over for Expo as well. It would be epic if he did. He's working on it. Ooh. Uh, Big Guns, you really ought to hook up with Ball Sonic. Ball Sonic... Uh, got really good deals on his flights last year and uh, from what he has shown me so far there's a few good deals knocking about there at the minute too so yeah you might want to uh, speak to Balsonic he'll sort you out yeah guns rent a boat <laughs> start swimming you'll make it <laughs> Oh, I have tried the double drip. Sorry. Mr. Coleman had sent me the link to the double drip he was asking about earlier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've had some of them, but... Yeah, I actually like... I love the raspberry sherbet one, was my favourite. Yeah, I like the, I liked that, and I also had... What was the other one I had? The, oh, I didn't like the banana waffle. Didn't like yeah. It. And it was I, the twisted twist ice cream that I liked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, because you gave the banana waffle to me. Yeah. Philip, if you're still there, to call my Valley Vapor, Valley Vapors. Um, the twist of ice cream. 
I'll give it a thumbs up. And uh, raspberry sorbet. But no, just the banana waffle. As much as I love bananas and waffles, it just wasn't for me. Irish Vape Challenge. I'm going, to I'm going Dublin to Belfast. Belfast to Liverpool. Get the train. Shane, what, Shane, what boat were you getting, mate? Because we're getting the boat over on the Wednesday night from Belfast. <laughs> <laughs> Gale and underwear. There was one night, there was one dress during the summer that Gail wore that you th didn't think she was wearing anything. We <laughs> need a poll to see who wants Bunny to wear the orange t shirt to the expo. And uh, the leggings. I'd have to lose about half a stone first. And, I can't uh, see that happening. <laughs> I like my food too much. Dan, Daniel's going to fly, maybe. And Ryan, he's, he's driving up driving to Cardiff. From Cardiff. Uh, Ryan, you've got to come up. You've got to come up. You'll love it. You'll love the crack as well, Ryan. Yep. Yeah, the banter's yep. the banter's brilliant. That's that's why I go personally. I I go for the crack. The banter is amazing, and like. Um, I have to admit that Mark Solom is ipsy okay. bits, ipsy bitsy, teeny weeny, smaller than a yellow polka dot bikini. He definitely is. Yep. He's. Oh, well, Mike's taller than him. At, he, he basically came out and I couldn't see him. <laughs> and Aiden, his brother, little bro vapes, is absolutely hilarious. Going to Belfast on Wednesday, get the boat Thursday. Oh, he's getting the Thursday morning. You, get you, the should, Thursday. you should get the Wednesday night one. That's what, that's the way we're doing it. We're getting yeah. the Wednesday night, uh, early hours Thursday morning. We'll be in Liverpool, so we're going to do a bit of the touristy thing in Liverpool and then get the train down Thursday evening. Yeah, you should. It's the best way to do it, Shane, because we went over daytime. <laughs> God, we Daniel. We went over daytime sailing last year um, to get there on the Thursday night. Um, but travelled Thursday daytime and it is yeah, tiring. Yeah, 15 hours travelling. The boat itself is... The boat hours. itself... But it's just so... It, it drains you. The seats aren't that comfortable to sleep on. So we're getting a cabin overnight. Vote grannies. Yes, Carriga, vote grannies. Yes, Granny's for president. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hashtag fucking <evils. laughs> Yeah, because he put in the hashtag Gwen is taller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Uh, yeah. Good evening, Mr. Summerfield. How are you, sir? Oh, there's the mental custard champion coming in. Taxi inspector, get it right. Yeah. And custard champion. Mental. Mental. Yeah, the, the mental custard. custard. Yeah. Champion. Yeah. Yes. I can't speak tonight. It's been a long, long day at work. <coughs> been a long week at work. Been a long two months at work. I know the curves. feeling. We've been, you know, pretty busy the last few months ourselves at work, but I managed to actually. I uh, make it home. I was home for just after half past four today, which is early for me. So. Right, well, Vic, just got notification of your new upload. You've already got a downvote. Wow. You know you've made it in the YouTube world when you get instant haters. Wow. <laughs> That's quick. I can't believe someone See, would be personal. Yeah, I, I can't believe someone would be so sad to either be subscri you know, being subscribed to and don't like them. Um, I get a I get a downvote every video within the minute it goes up. So somebody that subscribed to you, and they then have to take that time to actually physically click on the link, then click on the downvote for it. It it just beggars belief. You know, if you're going to be if they're going to be horrible, 
then um... yeah it, the way I see it is if I don't like someone A I'm not going to be subscribed to them and B I wouldn't watch I wouldn't pay attention I, I just don't bother with people that I don't like I don't waste the energy to go in and do the likes of that you know it just it's sad it's tragic and that person really needs to go and get a life um no well you can't see comments no you can't see who who votes it's one of the things you can't see no so if they comment then Yeah, Shane, if you can get the Wednesday night boat and book yourself a cabin, that way you can you can sleep on the way over, and you're not going to be anywhere near as tired then by the time you get to the hotel on the Thursday. You can have a shower and everything <coughs> else in your cabin. Yeah. Um, yeah, because that's what we fully intend to do. Shower in the cabin and everything else, and it also means you don't have to take the breakfast. You can get some date that night. Um. On the boat, but then you can go into Liverpool and actually get a get a, a big breakfast. Oh, Vic says that that role is changing in the summer. Voters' names will be displayed like Facebook. <clears throat> is Vic doing one of these wee things that he shouldn't be telling us again with the beta testing? <laughs> mm. Hide it quick, quick hide 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 the comment. Daniel enough. had five down votes within sixty seconds. I've decided I'm shit. <laughs> No, Daniel, you are most certainly not shit. <coughs> You're. Oh God! You better crack me up. I better go take my down folks down. <laughs> Busted. Ah, uh, but I don't think they'll back. I don't think they can backtrack it. To who it was, it'll probably just be going forward future. Now, won't affect videos that are already up. That's good. But my channel is bad. What? Why do you say that? Why do you say that? I will admit I have down down videos, big videos by mistake and not realised for several weeks. Down I have to say it is easy done. I down vote a video if I don't like it. But I'll also put a comment to say that I have. If I have put a dislike to it, I will put a comment saying to why I've disliked it. But it's very yeah. rare. Very, 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 very rare. I've ever done it. No, if I don't like a video, I don't, I don't click on the down vote. But I would, you know, where possible, send a message to let them know what I didn't like about it. You know, because if it's somewhere, if it's like something that can be improved upon, you know, I'd rather let them know. I have an excuse. I go through quite a lot sometimes. Liking them to get them to it out. Ah. Bad videos. Well, have you got lots of lots of thumbs down? Irish people. I downed one of my videos because it was crap and deserved it. Yeah, but you did that yourself. So. Down vote. <laughs> down votes for higher hundred for five quid. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy, yummy, I got love in my tummy. Thanks, Zan. I like Zan? that little tune going around my head. You've just uh, not uploaded anything for years. Okay. So. Yeah, I have a YouTube channel and there's zero content on it. It's yeah. really only for this, so. <laughs> I have a YouTube channel and it has content on it. Okay. Yeah, but no vaping content. <laughs> it has vaping content now. Yeah, I've been up until what two weeks ago. It didn't have. Same. Blame Daniel. That's where I got it from. You better not be eating the ingredients from my car, Mike. He has. He's at it. Uh, Vic, you're well out of luck there, mate. Um, Zam was showing me. He's just at. You're, he's just ate all the um, the cheesecake. Stop you trying to cause trouble. Hey. You. Hey. Cause trouble. Yeah. No. Don't eat Vic's 
caramite cheesecake. That's bad. Well, I haven't got any caramite left. Oh, and uh, Stuart, no, uh, Noel has been a troll on this network now for a long time. He learned from Sinner. Okay, I've got. <clears throat> uh, oh, Vic is getting ceramic cheesecake for his birthday, Gail. Vic is getting That's ceramic. That's more like it. <laughs> Bloody autocorrect, eh? I want Nightbot to shout at me. <laughs> Gail. <laughs> curly wellies. Not normally a curly worm. It's true. It's always been a troll and just part time. I'm yeah, so Andy, you have your moments of trollage as well, I have to say. Oh, uh, yeah, he definitely has. Yeah. So I, we wouldn't have them any other way, though. They're like. You know, there there are trolls. We allow them. <laughs> you do. Your wish is my command. Oh dear. I hate this to think what Carrick's going to do. <laughs> oh, he's been oh. caught right? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, can you hear us? Sorry, we can't hear you, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He can't. He can't comment now for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody can take the. PM. Yeah, we can. We can. Oh, apparently it's a blue moon tonight. Go take a look if it ain't cloudy. Yeah, the super blue moon. Yeah, it was rather cloudy up here in our own. In fact, it's been raining here most of the day, but it's brightened up a bit now. It's pretty clear out back. Right, I just need to refill my. Who said to be <laughs> bad word? <laughs> I mean, Andy, no. <laughs> Yeah, blue moon, which isn't blue when you look at it. No, it wasn't. It was actually red when it came up. Because apparently in some parts you'd be able to see um, there was a lunar eclipse tonight as well. <coughs> so. Here, Bonnie. Yes, dear. This is the way you love your pulse and everything else. Yeah. You no, know, whenever you put juice into your into your squonk bottle, mm -hmm. is it as easy as this to put back in the... In the pulse? No. <laughs> that is the pulse's downfall, is the ball. All those square things you make is a bit like that, will not? Well, Whereas that is beautifully. It's not. Beautiful, no, nice to design. be honest, it's, it's not really to do with the possession of the ball. It's the type of bottle that they used. If they had used a bottle that was more like that, it probably would have been better. That's the only issue I have with the pulse is the bottle. But the bottle on this one, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Second full moon in a month equals blue moon, blue moon hence the saying once in the blue moon. Ah, thank you very much, Craig. I didn't actually know that. Big Gun says the only blue moon he knows of is a Smurf's bum. Just <laughs> just got to i just got to wait for the SX Mini email now so I can send the class back for repair. Oh, it's one of yours broke! Oh, sugar, that's not good. What happened to it? Yeah, Andy, I have no problem with the pulse with the batteries either. I haven't had an issue. Like I say, the only problem I have is the bottle. Superman is when you're as closest to the earth. Right. Oh, the screen keeps dying. Um, maybe one of the solder points is loose. You know, it maybe just needs like retact or something. So. Right. Shall we do something? What like? Oh. Give me two seconds. Don't ask me what he's up to, folks. I have no clue. <laughs> yes, Andy, um, that's exactly my point. 
the, the bottle on the pulse is far too soft and because of the way it is, you can only fill it sort of halfway because when you reconnect it to the tube, you know, when you put the top on it and recon try to reconnect it, it just pisses out the top, so it's a bit annoying on that score. But... <coughs> Hmm. Hands up in chat if you'd like to win this. Lumo drip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a lumo drip. There's the information on the back of it. If you like. You've got great eyesight and can read it. <laughs> Big Dom says, please no, thank you, Lloyd. <laughs> Shane's giving it an X1. Yeah, throw an X1 in there if you would like to win that. What is it? It's a it's a limo drip. Man, you getting a slap, Bunny? 2 0 half time. <laughs> thank you, Ryan. <laughs> it's a rebuildable rebuildable drip atomizer, RDA, by Eleaf. The RDA is made from stainless steel, making it both durable and fashionable. Not only does um, it have... How about you open the box to let everyone see it? You what? Open the box, let everybody see it. It's sealed. Would anybody but... mind if Roy broke the seal to let you see the dripper? <laughs> Fuck you, Nightbot jokes on you, I need a poo anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Daniel. <laughs> Welcome back, Daniel. Uh, he's just back in time to. Cause this is this is courtesy of, of Mr. The Ip City Reviews. Right, no, no, shows the back. Back, yeah. So crack it open. Let everyone see what they're going to be getting. I don't want to do. Don't want to do. I don't don't want to do winner. We do a question. I know she's doing. She's. Doing this for Daniel, he's got ten seconds to click X one if he wants to win it. <laughs> Message to you. He's been bad out again. <laughs> he's on the naughty seat again. Oh, he's on the naughty step. What did he do this time? <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> he typed in an X one. <laughs> he's not allowed to win it anyway, considering this giveaway is from him. So <laughs> He's not allowed to win it anyway. That was fair. Give him ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right. I need... I need... What to put the... Oh, I need something to be able to put it on top of. Hang on. Hey! Yeah, he, is. I, he probably has a way for another one now. Um, that's a thing, though, babe. Mm -hmm. You've now got a, uh, a bit of competition for the naughty step. Uh, that's, he's, taken, he's taken my place in the naughty step. At least I kept it warm for him. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Right, here we go. Yeah, let's so have a wee nosy. Wrappers off. <laughs> Can't get out of the box. Here we go. Oh, we get the E Leaf Quick Start Guide. You get some cotton. Mm. It's actually quite, it's actually quite weary. Hold on, uh, pull it back a wee bit and try to refocus it again. It's, because the light's reflecting off it, it's not picking it up. Yeah, I'll get, this is the deck I think people want to see. Yeah. Gail trying to concentrate on peas and listen, which is hard work. If I win, I'll pivot to someone else. It is a dual deck, or dual post, sorry. What's the center airflow? Oh, no, that's interesting. With a big, wide gap, center airflow. Right, yeah. So, the airflow is, a, is it just a Yes, the airflow is fully adjustable on the bottom. Um, it's a clump system on the top. Maybe Vic, if he's about, can tell us there more about it. There you go, it's focused. 
Right. Quite a deep just well. Yeah. I was just thinking that. It's quite deep. Yeah, same deck as the Lemo 3. Well, it's done by, made by the same people, Craig, so, yeah. Yeah, it is quite... It is quite hefty. Yeah, it's quite sturdy. You also get this little box. In there, you have got... A big blue screwdriver. Ooh! Very nice. One. And you get the bag of extras with two clothes. Some oh, clothes with it and all. Happy days. Well, I suppose it stands to reason if they give you cotton, they would throw you some clothes in with it too. <laughs> yeah, two clothes and o rings. Nice. So there we go. So we have these up, this up for, this up to win. Worth it just for the screwdriver? Yeah, Mr. Summerfield, it is. It's a good screwdriver. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, oh my God! A big blue. <laughs> yeah. Too many, ca too many capitals, Gary. Yeah, spam and caps. You get timed out automatically for five seconds. So, all I have to decide is a question. Why I try and put this back in again? No fucking thing stuck. <laughs> well, welcome back from your short time out. <laughs> <laughs> what was the view like from the naughty step? Get out of my... Get out. Don't be sitting in my spot. Well, Daniel's currently in there, so he would, at least he had company. <laughs> uh, what was I away? Yeah, you are going. Five seconds. Where you were timed out for five seconds. So the scratch and sniff still on this um, at the side, which I won't remove. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> Roy, <laughs> you called me Mister. It's like an elevator in a white house. Don't belong. So it's fired. Big, bad, and um, Daniel. Daniel, it's just uh, shots. By the way, it's just exclamation mark shot and that should give you it. <coughs> there you go <laughs> now, the question I had I think people's come in since that oh, my question wasn't going to work because there's people come in since I asked that quite since I thought the question which is about to ask Good evening, Andrew F. How are you, sir? Good evening, Andrew. Okay. No, it's gone. I had a question in my head. <laughs> I honestly had a question in my head and I can't remember. So I was going to ask what's the three custards that I got for review, but yeah, but we've had a few extras come into the room since then, so yeah. Okay. What was the first just re or what was my first review on my channel? My YouTube channel. What was my first vaping related review? What's Gary's favourite mod colour? Rainbow, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to have to do a little bit of work for this one. If you want to win it, first to come back with the correct answer. Nightbot, and the winner is Vip City Reviews. Vip City Reviews subscribes to this channel. <laughs> <laughs> Such a chancer, Daniel. No. Well, it wasn't. Yes, Bill Byrne, Hextron. It was a Hextron. Congratulations, Bill. Hey, congratulations, Bill. This is <laughs> bringing this way to you. Wonder no, her saying it wasn't. 
<laughs> Do you want it, Bill? You want it? And Vic's the way Vic would do it. You want it? You want it? Do you want it? Bill, if you want that, let me know. I still have your contact details from uh, last time, so if you want it, say yes. Yes, Thanks, you want for it. My, yeah, perfect for my SS dreamer. Cool. Well, that's, not, that's not a problem, Bill. Uh, that'll be winging its way to you very soon. Yeah, thank you to uh, Website Reviews for the donation of the. Uh, and actually, uh, for the donation of the drummer, it's actually quite weary, Bill. So it probably will would probably fit nicely. <coughs> Just double check. I think the the pin is protruding. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a nice protruding pin, so yeah, it would be safe to use on a hybrid, so. But yes, congratulations, Bill. So. My, <coughs> my mucky fingerprints are back off it again, so. <laughs> so while we're on the subject, if you remember correctly, the last time um, you did a show, uh, I was piffed. The um, limitless RDTA, yeah. which I said that I would throw back in again for another another draw because I've already got one. So uh, mm -hmm. maybe in half an hour's time we'll do do another wee quiz or something for someone to win that. Yeah. So half an hour's time, guys. There could be another. Yep. Yes, the next uh, the next prize will be one of these little little beasties. What colour is it you're giving away? It was the purple one that I won. So it was. It was the purple one you were giving away. So it's because I already have one. I have this one and I have a silver one as well. So I really have no need for another one, which is why I said I would uh, put it back up again. So you mean? <laughs> that one. This one. That one. Still all oh, brand new and brand shiny new. and shiny. So yes, in about half an hour we'll have another little giveaway and somebody will be winning a lovely limitless RDTA in gorgeous purple. Yeah. Mr. Hersey was something I already it was something I already owned. Good to see yeah. price. Well, that's exactly what yeah. I did, Bill, because I, I won that. I've already got one, so. So, Hextrum and Limitless. So, Hextrum and Limitless RDT. <laughs> yeah, the purple and the purple would, it would go together, Rainbow. No one is getting my Hexum, okay? Just because I've got a G Class now doesn't mean I'm getting rid of the Hexum. It is going nowhere. It might make its way down to paradise. You <laughs> might make your way out there, wooden box. <laughs> no, the hex is going nowhere. <laughs> I do apologise if the wasp is rather noisy when I'm vaping. I'm trying not to be noisy when I'm vaping it. So. You're rattling whose house, Gary? Yours, probably. Probably. <laughs> I nearly and uh, Daniel, I nearly, I nearly died. Would nearly hit my window, but I got it down. In, I got it down quickly enough, so it was flying straight back at the other side. I thought it was going to hit my window, to be honest. She never noticed the, the the sort of the scuff marks in the box and the dent in the, in the corner of the box. You can have a special one. Bunny, bunny, pick up the box. The G class box. There wouldn't need to be a fucking scuff on it. If you've been kicking that about, I will kick you, honestly. Look at the corner of the box. Not a mark on it. There is. No, it's, it's not. Dented in one, it's dented in one corner. 
What, that tiny wee thing there? It's dented in the corner. That's not from a kick. <laughs> that was. You've seen the size of Daniel's feet, they're, they're tipsy. Well, I've Good not actually seen Daniel's feet, so I wouldn't know. He's got... <laughs> <laughs> You're the one that spends all the time with him, dear, not me. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't want to spend time with me anymore. Nobody does. I just go to the, I just go to the naughty step and sit with myself. Okay. Well, if Daniel keeps going the way he's going, you'll have company in a minute, you know. He'll be back there beside you. <laughs> he's getting down there. I'm a special one. <laughs> special one just Long for girls. you. Girls, put your handbags away, please. Oh dear. So, oh, what time do you get the boat at? It's eight. No. Ten o'clock at night. Ten o'clock at night it sails. Uh, yeah, I got that special one in person today. I walked up <laughs> to the I walked up to the car and he goes. Take off the tiara? Tiara? You've lost me, Andy. Yeah. I think the limit should go to Vic, as we know his great luck with him. <laughs> oh, fuck, that's right, Bill. <laughs> yes, we've all seen that video where it's apparently impossible to make it leak. Vic proved otherwise. Is that the one you got leaking as well? No. Yes, Bonnie. He's being a princess, but like Senna. Ah, uh, right. With you now. Um, um, Mr. Summerfields, whenever your jokes go sort of up here somewhere, and you have to explain them, mm. it's practically impossible to make them look apparently. Well, Vic did it. The city. He did say almost impossible. Yeah. Well, no, Vic can do that will haunt impossible. him. That 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 segment of that live show will probably haunt him till the day he dies. He always likes to throw that one in every now and again, just for shits and giggles. So, <clears throat> to be honest, Mick, can, <laughs> Mick, Mick, this all Mick? Like, yeah, Mick, Mick sorry, Mick, Mick. Sorry. Mick? Oh. <laughs> what coffee? I've got one thing. It's cold. Oh, well. Cold coffee's better than no coffee. True. I think I've got an obsession with <laughs> custards. Well, given the amount of custard juices you have sitting in the house, I'm not surprised. Yeah, quite cute. Oh yeah, Andy, I remember that one. <coughs> Scuba tipped the cup over his keyboard. That was, yeah, that was funny. But like custard, custard, <laughs> custard, <laughs> custard, custard. Um. Good evening custard. from Singapore. Hi, Zook, Mike, Hawk. Singapore, how are you? Mm -hmm. Custard. Roy. Custard. Just for Mr. Summerfield. <laughs> uh. Yeah. But I do also have, also have gummy dude. Has Roy got custard to Uh, yeah. I kind of hard, Pasta. Either that or a dodgy addiction, or we're going to have to send you into rehab after you vaped all those. Yeah. <laughs> so, anybody else has just come into the room, including um, visitors from Singapore, what are you vaping on? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've heard what Bill's vaping on. He's got seven on the go, so... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Mr. Summerfield, are you having a mental, having a mental custard by any chance? Those bottles wouldn't even darken my doorstep.
Oh, that's your loss. Well, not everyone likes custards. Right, Thank label the custard. Up. And the lemon candy. Ooh, nice scale. On the dead bunny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it doesn't get called a dead rabbit anymore, it's a dead bunny. But yes, you keep telling people you're still alive. I know. Roy, if you have gummy dude watermelon kiwi, you can send it with the RD. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't have any of it because... Um, yeah, that one kind of disappeared rather quickly, didn't it? Yeah, I don't actually have... I believe it or not, I don't, it's, one, it's one that I don't have. Because I do have... Lemon donut. Strawberry, strawberry donut. Do, strawberry, strawberry donut. And I have the... Kiwi, but no, I don't have any... Watermelon. Munchbox. Oh, Space X. What? Oh, SpaceX is launching. Oh, uh, uh, they're sending a rocket up. Going to listen, guys, but want to see this launch. Yeah, you crack on, Daniel. And then, um, yeah, I got a, a surprise phone call from the good old US of A. I'm still waiting to come on. Um, guy that I met at Expo, um, who had ultimately given me a business card to everything else, phoned me up to say he wanted me to review his juices, his new line of juices no. that he's sending through. So I'm looking forward to get those. But, um, oh, that's not the right one. Gail. Lemon curd. Mm. Yeah, Gail likes her. Gail likes her lemons, but she's not really a big custard lover. Yeah. But she might like that one actually. I think she will like that one. <coughs> so yeah, yes, I have a bottle of uh, well steeped lemon gummy dude, especially for Gail, which uh, Vapor Brew gave me to give to you. There's a there's a bit taken out of it, but it's how yeah. steep. It is well steeped. It's a guy for that since Expo. Yes. So Num num num. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's lemon of course, isn't it? <coughs> oh, her saying get two bottles of hod. Ooh, lucky lucky boy. I've not tried this cod that everybody talks about. Think after eight mint. And that's exactly what it tastes like. Okay. Slightly sweeter. Why is it called hot then? Uh, you would have to ask Mr. Viking that because he named it. Okay. Stuart Niven gave me a bottle of hot on Sunday. Oh. Yes, it was like Gail's Christmas had just returned. <laughs> that was very, very, very kind of you, mm -hmm. Mr. Niven. That is the one. That's the one thing I do love about this, about the network, and especially the the ones in chat. Yeah, the casters can never know. Give things, give away, and never know. But the ones who just come into chat, whatever you do, meet up with them. They're so genuine. Karen, um, people do things to help everybody else out. Things get passed. You know, the amount of times I've heard, you know, even like the solo saying that he's been sent something from somebody in chat to, to review uh, one of the, the Mac mods or. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah, it's it's what it's all about though, isn't it? We're supposed to. It does. Family. It does. It's the. I have been involved with a. Um, the motorbike racing scene over here, pretty much when I was able to walk upright, um, I've been involved in it, and yeah, that's a very close knit group as well. But I think the friends that I've made through the vaping community have 
they're they're not just friends to me now they are family you know so yeah but I, you don't mess with my family you know you mess with them you mess with me and that's not a route you want to go down and yes Dan totally agree so I wouldn't mess with you yes that's right Gail <laughs> and you're mine so you my bitch yes She's yeah. got my back, I've got hers. That's so it's half of, the, half of the bitches. And yes, Daniel, believe it or not, that does include you, even though you are climbing to the top of my shit list. <laughs> You've kind of redeemed yourself today, though. <laughs> right, just having to reply. My son, has, my son has asked me, can I join you for the last half hour? Well, I don't have an objection to that. Is Carrick still in the room? Uh, she did say she would be right back, but I don't know if she's come back yet or not. I think she was cooking. <coughs> so, you know, it's, it all mates down to the powers and the bee. I agree with Tex Royce, please. I have no, no, I have no, That's I have not no nice. objections to that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> you see, it shows you how much though Daniel actually cares about me, because up until yeah, you get dumped and he's moved on. No, up and up until the weekend though, it was oh I'll, I have this just for you, Roy. I have that just for you, Roy. <laughs> I'll give it to this and see. And then when appears today to get it, there's Bonnie's G. That's a nice talent. And he's dumped me for that. So <laughs> yeah, fine. Whatever. Well, let me know how I feel. Now you know how I feel. You dumped me for Daniel, remember? You mean you mean Zan tag team match? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, "Shit, you forgot about your juice." Say so that's how much he thinks about me. Yeah, Daniel. We all know you'd forget your arse if it wasn't attached. <laughs> Daniel, he's married. So is Daniel. Yeah, but Daniel's apart. Catch you later, Sonic. Have a good one. Please keep that action to Pornhub. <laughs> Cheers, Noel. Take it easy. See you later, Hersing. <laughs> Trump on the shoulder. I do apologise. Sorry, Mark Cameron, I've got a cramp on my shoulder. Ah, that's better. Sorry, Gil. <laughs> Bye, guys. I don't know if he's saying goodbye to all of us or if he's just saying goodbye to Sonic and Noel. <laughs> oh, balls going too? Yeah, yeah. Balls, get your uh, homework done. <laughs> and Daniel, you've gone to the top of Gil's shit list again. <laughs> Review you see that? Like he's he's trying to get, yeah, he's trying to get Darren to team, tag team in as well now. <laughs> Not impressed, Daniel. Not impressed. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is with we uh, bait and brew though. It's the whole Jesus complex, you know. He's maybe got a thing for the beard. Mm -hmm. I know Rainbow has. <laughs> what, a thing for the beard? Yeah. <laughs> I'll take your word for that. As well as rainbow mods and unicorns. And I'm talking about princesses. Where is, the, where is Queen Princess tonight? Fair oh, enough. Sure. I've noticed a distinct lack of sinner. <laughs> <laughs> Shaving tonight. <laughs> You need a chisel to start that, bro. <laughs> Your brush cutter. Don't do who we love the beard. <laughs> <laughs> because Rainbow, because we love you. 
Andy Summerfield says, get back on the naughty step, Kim. Yeah, that's one of the chat commands we have for Sinner. <laughs> I bet you nobody falls me in to lose at Expo. You want a bet, babe? Sinner 2. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it, it makes me laugh. Oh, yeah, it's a mirror. <laughs> It's the opening line to Nickelback song, Sinner Hates Nickelback. With a passion. <laughs> no, because you'll be behind me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, what you like. <laughs> you guys really ought to just get a room, you know? Yeah. Daniel's only coming over to Expo for the one day. You know, he might not have enough time for all these wild orgies that he's planning in the Expo toilet. We'll have to pass his photo around security. Don't let him in. <laughs> no, we do let him in. But subject to a strip search. Okay. <laughs> security stripping the way in. <laughs> Rubber gloves and all. Yeah, yeah, Andy, I agree with you. It's a little too real. <laughs> Dan joins me on the plane, and there'll be two new members of the Himalaya Club. <laughs> um, slight problem. Slight He's problem, Daniel. Well, it's not the fact that it's married, but um, they don't go a mile high on a hop from Birmingham to Belfast. For the half mile club, maybe. <laughs> He's just been timed out again. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Brilliant. He is. Take my place. More than he is. More than more than definitely take my place. Personal night boobs instead of moobs. Well, yeah, according to Sean, um, there's no difference. Sean's department, yeah. I don't have it. <coughs> I went down the wrong way. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I do apologise, headphone users. Um, Irish VIP, way to go, lad. You'll enjoy the um the first the business to business day. It's it's a lot quieter. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's usually whenever I do all my looking at the new shinies because it's the only day really that you get peace to do it. Because the Saturday it's like thing time at the zoo and then the Sunday's ten times worse. Yeah, the Sunday, the stage for the freebies, oh my word, that's... Um, Andy, Sean was uh, all up for doing the cast but he... Uh, he got twatted at work and knocked himself unconscious, so had to go to the hospital. So, uh, fingers crossed, Sean's okay, sending our love and all that, and hopefully he'll be back with us soon. I was going to say somebody was trying to knock some sense into him, but that's a Sean we're talking about, so that's a distinct impossibility. Well, I sent the message I Have sent. You Sean? Him, <laughs> the message I sent him was um, lucky he didn't drop it on his toe. <laughs> that would have hurt his brain. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah. Um, but at 28, he had more chance of dying of boredom while waiting to get seen. Yeah, that's the thing because he pro he will probably spend longer in the waiting room than he will spend with a doctor. I just got a message of a certain timed out person. <laughs> Only Sean could do that. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, Roy three just likes having an argument with the door. Three times. Three Jesus, times Sean! Three times fifteen. Three times fifteen mil temp. Three times fifteen mil mg ten mil mix shots and a hundred is around six mil overall. I have no idea, Barry. Two I know two eighteen mils 
in a hun in a hundred mil short short film is three milligram. So forty five into hundred. when it comes to mixing and stuff like that, I haven't a clue what I'm doing, so I leave that to the people that do. <laughs> yeah. I had heard Betty had knocked him out over the head. I had to hit him over the head, trying to get into bed. That's what I had heard. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's what I would have thought, Bill, it's more like four. If it's 15 mg, are you sure it's 15 mg and not 18 mg? Because normally the 10 ml bottles are um, 18 mg. Enjoy. So you're adding 36. Two 18s is not 36. The ones I get. Let's see the different ones here. Yeah, because that's 18. And that one's an 18. Yeah. Yeah, because it's usually 18 milligram mix shots that you get whenever you get short fill bottles. I yeah. don't know anywhere that does 15. Those PGs. Yeah, it says 15. 15. <laughs> That's a strange one. Um, I don't know, but I would uh, check that out on an online calculator maybe. Just to be sure, you know. Right. Certain somebody is getting CC sort of. <laughs> Ryan. Yeah. Cool. So I do apologise. Well, I do apologise. Well, we'll wait until he comes on then before we do the second giveaway. Yeah. There is just there is a reason why um not just not because he's my son or anything like that. It's because Ryan is a new new vapor um of two months. I think it is. Um, and he's moving on from. It's just more to see about how how he's finding it, because he's starting. He's just moved from mouth to lung, um, onto subong. Okay, welcome back, Daniel. <laughs> um, so let's just see how he's getting it and getting on with vaping. How he's getting it. No, he's that lonely. Oh, stop getting put on there then. I know, I, I know Daniel's very lonely, but... Um, well, you should know, you've spent enough time on it. Yeah. From Karika, from Dan, from Gail, from Aries. <laughs> I think um, I haven't ever had to time you out. I've threatened it, but I've never yeah. actually had to oh, do it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Andy, sorry, you two had 48.33 to 100 mil of... 15 milligram Nick to get 6 mil over. So it is. Yeah, so those three bottles. Those three would bottles just be short of. Would just be short of 6, so it would come out about 4.5, maybe 5. I was going to answer that, but it was timed out. Well, then don't be naughty! <laughs> it's quite <laughs> simple. Yeah, behave yourself and you'll not get put in the naughty step. Let's see how he's getting on. So, I was going to say it's a mini me, but it's not really. Why is he taller than you? Well, he's slightly shorter than me, but nearly the same well, height as me these he's, days. If he's shorter than you, then he has a mini you. Oh, well. Saying that, though, I call Rebecca mini me, and she's taller than I am. So. Yeah. You mean timed out again? I was timed. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop swearing. You didn't actually swear. Yeah, you're not allowed to swear. People are. I don't like swearing. 
<laughs> so we just checked three times fifteen mil shots will make three point five. Oh, we have conflict in information here. Need to add forty eight mil. I uh, need to add forty eight to make it to six. To six, but then Bill said but, Barry, but uh Bill said, going to be adding thirty. Thirty mil. You need three fifteen mil graphs. We need to add two. Oh, three. It's in three three shots will bring it up to three point five. Aye, three ten mil bottles. But he needs forty eight mil, which would be just under five ten mil bottles. And Barry's going to be adding three. Oh, so yeah, yeah it, well it'll take it up to about three and a half, roughly four. One and a half mm. fifteen and thirty five makes three. Yeah, that ever makes sense. Oh, God, we could help out that. Uh, not us. Chat. <laughs> yeah, thanks to everybody in chat for that help, because I wouldn't have had a clue. So, And good evening, Craig. Dewar, how are you? And good evening, Craig. How are you, my man? And Craig, just to let you know, I have not been to the post office yet. I'm very, actually at the moment I'm very rarely around but even the post office is open the stuff is oh Craig's has been sent it's it's he's not even in the room rolls you sent Craig's didn't you um not as I have one here for Craig yeah. I haven't posted yet uh, it's getting done tomorrow um I have sent out uh, a few oh hang on um, incoming the rest of mine will be getting sent out tomorrow. So uh, to those that I have already posted out to, hopefully you should get them soon. Good evening, Ryan. Hello. Ryan's not got a headset, so we're going to get Echo. Do you want to get headphones? Yeah. Okay, two minutes. Mute your mic. No, I'm not away anywhere. I'm still here. And Zan's doing his wizardry. Oh, and before we ever forget, um, Zan, thank you very much for hosting us tonight. Zan is in the background doing all the technical wizardry gizard to put. Um, yeah, because apparently I'm not on cast. I mean, I can sit and do that, and nobody'll see me. You are on <laughs> cast. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, you're on cast. Well, he's got, me in, he's got me in a he's got me in a window. He's got me in a window, and then you down below the window. <laughs> Daniel said I wasn't. Oh, here it comes back. I'd just like to um, introduce the the world of chat out there. To you've probably seen him in chat being being a sorry little sod every now and again. This is my dude, son. Dude, Ryan. dude, what's the score? What's the score? <laughs> can people hear me now? Yeah. I can hear you, yeah. That's okay. It's just not echoing anymore. So, Ryan, welcome to the world of VUKN and um, the uh, the world of chat out there. Hello, you everyone. Do, you, do, you do know something, we have to ask you. What are you vaping? Well, I'm not going to be very <laughs> good at this, but... <laughs> um, well... This is just my. Um, oh, where it's gone? I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, that is the smoke pro color kit. Pro color kit yeah. with the the smoke tank on top and the smoke coils. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, and now I've got the I love sweets or I love sweets. Well, whatever it's called, cola bottles. And I only tried that last night, and got to be honest, I'm absolutely loving it. There you go, babe. We've got somebody else that loves your IVG stuff. Well, I have to say, like the cola bottle one, I haven't tried yet, but any of the others from that range, I didn't like. In all fairness, it's it's really good. Have you got a puppy? Um, got three of them to be honest with you. Um, they only came along yesterday or the day before. Oh, babies! They're, they're a bit of uh, puppy in babies. The, in the yeah, room with you. yeah, they're in the same room as me. Oh, I thought I could hear them. 
I could I could reach down and grab one. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Bonnie wants to see I want to see Poppy. Right, we've got I three of Poppy. them. Pick a choice. One, two or three. Two. Two. Mm. It's an alien in disguise with another bloody baby beast. Yeah. <laughs> Poppy showtime. Oh my god, it's adorable! Oh. Oh. Right, this is the one I absolutely love. I want to keep this one. Oh, it's a blue. Oh, it's gorgeous. You be Starface, yeah? No, um, Bijan cost two hours. Also, couldn't it be Dinky? Yeah, they are. Uh, they are. Gary. Oh, I love puppies. You're lucky Off I'm not topic. there because I would just live in there with the puppies. <laughs> three minus three minutes. Freaking love Elon Musk. He's my idol. Not as much as I am with Penny Pitbulls. I'm trying not to. Trying not. I'm trying not to make any puppy jokes. Yes, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll find Ryan. There's a lot of random chatter goes on in here sometimes. I don't try to read it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are you as a new, the new vapor? How are you finding things? In, in all fairness, it's it, it's so much different to. Uh, you know, being on the being on the fags myself, to be honest, is I, I feel a little bit better for it. Cool. And <coughs> how have you found any? How have you or how, how have you found the support of? Kind of sort of picking up the network, but have you found the network any support support of at all or? A bit, yeah. It's it's, it's helped me out a little bit more. You know, it's it's, it's stopped me from. You know, seeing like just people's different, you know, comments and stuff, and and what I don't know what to say about it. It's like like I've seen on on some people saying on how long they've managed to go without fags, and like before I wasn't willing to try it, but now it's a lot different. I had had I showed you the other night that the starter kit I had previously. I had that for a couple of weeks, and I just gave up on it. And then how are you finding the, the transfer? I know you had one of the wee, wee mini starter kits before, previous before you got the Pro Color. How are you finding? How do you find the difference between the two? Because a lot of the ones in chat, you know, and everyone else, have been off them for such a long time. Um, you might be looking at a year, two years going backwards. So it's more how are you oh, finding the three years for me. Three years for some. So how are you finding? Faster, my Pete. Evening, Pete. How are you? Oh, how are you, how are you finding how are you finding that round? Uh, what what was the question? You kind of like was stuttering. <laughs> I was stuttering. How yeah. are you how are you finding moving from the um, we starter kit to the the pro color and the bigger the the, the bigger the more sort of the mic to, oh, more the bigger, powerful more powerful yeah that's the word. I find it easier smoking the more powerful stuff than the, the actual, well, vaping, Sorry. should I say. Well, pause. Pause, <coughs> pause rewind? I, I find it a lot easier, you know, vaping off the more powerful stuff that's, than... That's better. <laughs> yeah, we don't smoke. We don't smoke. No. Same, yeah, it's different. Um, but it's, it's a lot easier for, for me, to be honest. And my partner's got um, the same sort of model I had for the, you know, the starter kit with the mouth to run, and I don't get along with that anymore. Uh, cheers, cheers, bro. Bit late with that advice. <laughs> <laughs> don't be up and talk. Yeah, we've all done it. Uh, this lot in here usually always. You know, when I'm mid vape, they usually throw something in there that just cracks me up, and I end up choking my laughter as well. So, I don't know. Yeah, so it's not not no smoking, and, and it's not oil. 
It's juice. Goose. That's a real bugbear for me when people call the e liquid oil. Yeah. Oil is something you put in a car or fry chips in. <laughs> you know? It's not oil. It, it tends to. Well, with what I call it, it tends to be on what mood I'm in, whether it's juice or liquid. Juice! <laughs> yeah, I call it juice. Oh, the, yeah, but it does feel like oil. If you spill it on your hands, it's feels like bloody oil. I tend to find it's like quite sticky. And it's like, it's quite irritating. John, stop it! <laughs> Ah dear, oh dear. So yeah, Darren, you've got competition for you know the annoying pain in the bum that sits in the corner spamming us now. Good evening, VH reviews. Will you? Hi, will Steve. You, Dave. Will you watch for a bit, Grumpy Show? You're quite. Tell you what, for a bit, Grumpy Show, you're quite grumpy tonight, guys. Oh, not grumpy. He means. Yeah. If there are some of the favorites, there's always exactly there. There is always in them. Um, well, I like you into a wee secret as well. When uh, Vape and Bruce talking about essential oils, he's currently at the minute working on a range of lip balm, which will match your flavor or your e liquid. And I have to say, what I've sampled so far, really good. What else? <laughs> Don't be a perv. <laughs> Only a perverted man can make something perverted. I don't know if I'm what I was thinking. You forget, babe. I know you too well. I know how your mind works. It's, it's not the mouth it comes out of. It's the mind that it goes into. That's what exactly. I always say. Yeah. Exactly well, right. That's why me and him got on so well, because we're both kind of monkey-minded. So. I don't want to know that. Fault. I, I must get it from him then. Yeah. <laughs> What's it they say? Apple doesn't fall far from the tree? Falls further from the top of his head. True. <laughs> <laughs> so, and what's the vape scene like down around your way, Ryan, down in Barry? Is there, what's the vape shops like? And Being honest with you, because being in work most of the time, I don't get to, to go around too much. I only know of two in Barry. Whether or not there are more, I, I wouldn't really know. I don't tend to, you know, I don't don't tend to be able to get around. It doesn't tend to be in work most of the time. Um, I know there's a couple in Cardiff, just haven't had the time to, to go. If anyone's got any recommendations around that area, I'll quite happily pop in and have a go. Yeah, well, you've always, you've always got um, your Mr. Conway. He's North yeah, Wales, yeah. I think. Yeah. And uh, so it's not just like you can pop in. You sort of, if you need to know what you're, you're vaping. Or just what drop him a little get. message, and he, he's cool. Yeah, as you can, t as you can probably tell, guys, um, Ryan has has lived on Wales most of his life, and that's why he's got this. <laughs> and this is why he's got this strange accent. It's a cross between Northern Irish, Welsh, and English. And Wait, where's the English come from? I don't know, but you have. You've got English bits in there as well. I don't know how you've got English, but you've got English bits in there as well. You always have had. That's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't mine either. I think we should just blame you. Yeah. I blame Zan. <laughs> <laughs> There's your response. I missed it. Because it fly flying around here. Right. I need to change. Back onto this. So essentially, he sounds like someone from Balamina Then no, no it's actually Steve the one. It's no. Actually, Steve Dave is the one place he's never actually lived. No, I haven't. No, I he was born. Then. He was born. He was born in Antrim, area hospital. He was lived in Antrim, and he moved from Antrim to South Wales. So he's never actually lived in Balamina Yeah, Ryan only sounds a little bit Welsh mixed with English. You see, there is a bit of English in there, right? And that's coming from not, an Englishman, by the way. That's coming from a southern, southern, so, so, a southern Englishman. I'll have to put on a fake Welsh accent, then, won't I? 
All right, boy. Oh. <laughs> How are you Don't doing? Don't The sheep will be getting scared. No, that's just in the bitches that do that. <laughs> yes, Daniel, we know this already. There's, there's, there's not many sheep around me, to be honest. I think I think I've uh, got rid of them all. Two, one. You know that's up. Two. I love Zan. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, you. Who's that? You that girl? Just for that, Daniel. Your dad. Oh, you timed him out just as he said he loved you as well. <laughs> you bully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> That's the first person I've ever done that to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, you bully. <laughs> I think it's a bit late for sorry now, isn't it? Or is yeah, it, like we've gone beyond that. Or is he just taking the piss because he can't type anything back? Well, we, yeah, we kind of like to do that to... Um... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice one, character! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You can go and join Daniel on the naughty step, babe. Calm as yeah. a bitch. Uh, Carrick, a strange person on screen here is Ryan. This is uh, Roy's son. Offspring. Yeah, mini me. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from, I've got the better looks. Uh, I couldn't possibly comment. <laughs> Considering this is the first I've met you, so, you know. Well, we'll leave that down to the chat to decide. <laughs> Oh, you really don't want to open that can of what bass, you know, because <laughs> the chat can be brutal. <laughs> I can take it. Good evening, Alchemy. Oh, and by the way, Alchemy, I saw that comment you put in there earlier. There is fuck all innocent about you, son. <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> Yeah, so we were talking about um, new vapors and experiences and vaping into and different vape shops, etc. I think I've been off the fags now for two and a half months. Two and a half months now? Mm. you completely off them? Yeah. Good luck. I've had, I've had three. three. You had two the last time you spoke to me. I had to work. It was two or three last time I spoke to you. And I've worked out it was three. The only time I had um, the extra one is what I forgot about was whenever my coils had burnt out. So, and I was stuck in work. Oh. Well, I've been off them almost three years. It'll be three years on the 19th of February. And in that time, I have not had a cigarette at all. There's been a couple of times when I've thought to myself, oh, cigarette would go down nicely right now, but I haven't done it. I, I was at a barbecue uh, with a lot of friends about six months after I'd stopped smoking, and I lit one for somebody, and just lighting that cigarette nearly made me sick, so I haven't went near them at all since. So. Well, whenever I'm in work, because people who, who I work with, there's three of them that smoke, I, I can't stand the smell of smoke anymore. It just it smells disgusting. It does. Um, I have a new guy that started in, in my place who sits sits beside me, and he smokes. And how about um, you stinks? I just I never realised just how badly you know, somebody would go outside and had a smoke and come and come in again. But there's other people smoking the building, and it doesn't get to me. But it just he sits beside me, and the smell coming from from the. I think it's whenever they're close to you. Yeah, but I took one year. Is that eight months and seven days? Yeah, Zan's been off them. Zan and Gail have been off them one year, eight months, and seven days. So well done. Well done. I have I have got an app that tells me on there. And one year, it'll be two years in 
April. Have to have yeah, and as Mush is saying here, it's funny you don't you don't notice the smell when you are a smoker. It's not until you stop smoking that you realise just how nasty it is. Mm. Well, my phone's currently saying 76 days. Two and a bit months. Yeah. Yeah, about two and a half months. Four years. Where to go, Mr. Summerfield? Alchemy's lost count. <laughs> How do you think? I work the door at weekends, and I can smell those four and a half... Those four... Those four and a half people who stink of country sticks. They'll be yeah. here on Saturday from year Saturday Expo. Well done. I feel like I'm back at school. He's <laughs> kicking me out. <laughs> it's okay, uh, Daniel, because he got timed out straight after you. The boss got her revenge. <laughs> <laughs> Six years. I can't even remember smoking. Smoked for 20, 20 plus years, quit for eight years, cold turkey, then took up vaping. I'm bad. You're not bad, Turkey. No, but Turkey, it's really good. you went with the safe option. Mm. You took up vaping. At least you did not go back to the stinkies. That's that's the way I would look that's at it anyway. True. It's a, a far, far healthier option. I smoked for 34 <clears throat> years. Right, I Master Ryan. I was smoking when I was uh, 17, um, quite three years ago. So I'm just giving like Ryan 20, a... 27 years of, uh, you know. A heads up. Ryan's going to think it's a question to win this. Oh, yeah, for the giveaway. Mm-hmm. So Ryan, think of a good uh, think of a good question. May it be trivial? May it be vape related? May it be something or other, whatever. But bearing in mind, you know, the sort of the audience is in in the chat room, something that they can find the answer to either via Google search or out of their, their brains. They haven't got one. Now you've put me on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> you have a couple of minutes to think about it. Where we, where we, where we go over some more, because there's village vapor is five months after ten years of smoking. Gotta have a think now. One more time out, and I'm off for a park drive. Park drive. Is that a promise? <laughs> <laughs> Say sorry, get care, get all great boss lady, and you will be pardoned. <laughs> get in your knees and grovel, Daniel. This is, this is difficult thinking now. Yeah, well, it is for you. What colour is Bunny's feelings? <laughs> Damn, really? Three years you know, a girl could go off you very quickly. <laughs> 34 years I smoked for. 34. If I, had, if I had all that money back now that I spent, on, I could buy more vape gear. Yeah. <laughs> I, I dread to think. I dread to think the amount of money I actually spent in the length of time that I was smoking. Because within the first year of me having stopped smoking, I had saved about four and a half thousand pounds. Well, I have the car because I put the money into the car instead of smoking. But it's just like the uh, the girl that walks up to the fella and goes, you know, he's sitting there with a with a cigarette in his hand and a pint and everything else, asking how much do you drink? Oh, I drink about five or six pints a night. How much do you smoke? I oh, smoke about 20 cigarettes a day. How much do you gamble? That's my risk. And she goes, do you know if you didn't smoke, drink or gamble? In all those years, how long have you doing it? It goes away to oh, about 30 years. It's not that time. You could have a Ferrari. And, look, and the guy just looks at the girl and goes, well, do you drink or smoke or gamble? And goes, she goes, no. He goes, well, where's your Ferrari? Yeah. Uh, I seem to think, think the same sort of thing is... You know, you save this money on on cigarettes, but then where where is the money? I spend the cash on VGPG next flavors now. There's where my money goes into these. <laughs> I have a large amount of flavors now. I guess I can say the same. I'm on air, by the way. So yeah, excuse the noise in the background. My daughter's just come home. Yeah, Mr. Summerfield, I'm exactly exactly the same. I couldn't believe it. You know, I tried for years. And <coughs> I, I, I tried different methods. I had tried chump I had tried everything to try and stop. And I got one of those wee really crappy eagle ones. You know, the ones you have to screw the battery apart to charge. One of these? And that yeah. type of one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I, 
didn't get along with it. And that was four years ago past there in February that I tried that. I then went yeah. and purchased... Where yeah, is it? you got one of these, didn't you? T18. Yeah. yeah. I've got... It's all got it there. Mm -hmm. Still have mine. Still got charge on it. And I quit with that. <clears throat> and was, I had a, a week with tobacco juice. <coughs> and then went on to vanilla custard. Banana custard. Excuse me. And then on to Pink Man. Got found. Believe it or not, I actually loved vampire juice. Vampire, vampire vapes. Through this. The doctor said to Andy Cap, Mr. Cap, the best thing you can do is give up smoking, drinking, and sex. Andy Cap said, What's the second best thing you can do? <laughs> good one, Pete. That is a good one, Pete. <laughs> Only thing vaping saves is your health. Yes. That is yeah. true. True. Because that that money that I did save initially on vape gear, I now don't have. You know, because it just all goes into. Gail has asked. Gail has just asked a very very good question. Ryan, do you see yourself becoming a hobbyist like the rest of us geeks? I I said in the beginning I I was just trying to do it to stop the fags, but it, it's actually growing on me a little bit now. So, it is a bit of a 50-50 at the minute. Maybe I'd say 75-25 towards, you know, more of the hobbyist sort of thing. But do you see once you start um, building your own coils and, you know, using things like this rather than tanks uh, with stock coils on them, that's when it becomes a hobby. Yeah, yeah. That, that I think, that I can, because I was on this, um, I had it about... Whatever nine you do, months. do not touch the joystick, but you can have a go I on it. Nine months on this, and then I went to a, don't know if anybody can remember, a very, a Togo Mini. I, then I liked the, that, that was like that wee dinky pocket rocket thing yeah. you used to have. Yeah. Well, you still have. I still have it, and then I went to a Smart V8 Baby Beast, Big Baby Beast on it, which I absolutely loved. <laughs> She's gushing over the G-Class. She now says she wants one. <laughs> My daughter vaped for four years. Then Les and I started. Then she got the shiny itis because of the things that we were showing her. She was fine with a starter kit till then. That, <laughs> Kirk, I could well believe. Because Les's eye for a yeah. bargain as well, though. That was, that was probably, be that was probably a, a better good deal as well because Les could find good deals. Hold out hand and say, cash then, give her the g -class. I don't even think, even if she gave her 300 quid, Karika, that she would get the G-Class offer. Not a chance. Not a chance. Oh. And Bill, I don't care what people say about smock. Play nice and I might buy you one for your birthday. My V8, my V8 stick still works to this day. And it's over, it's a year old now coming up. Um, yeah, my V8 stick's going well as well. I haven't used it for a while right enough, but I still have mine as well. Yeah. Um, I have an alien sitting there that Bunny gave me. That Bunny has, has been around Bunny's for ages. It's still working perfectly. Um, I've got plenty of smog tanks. The only thing that's crap in my eyes with smog coils. is the stock coils. But then Daniel has been doing tests on the newer coils in the Prince, I think it is. Yeah, the, apparently the, the ones for the, the new uh, Prince tank are actually very good. And yeah, Gail, I totally agree. The TFV4 was the biggest abomination that Smoke ever brought out. It was a pile of rancid shite. Pardon um, my language, but it was. <laughs> the, only other, the only other thing I don't like is the um, the gimmicky crown or the skull one. Oh, that mod that has the big skull thing on the front of it? Yeah, I don't particularly like that either. And yeah, Darren's in with a good point there as well. The uh, the Vaporesso coils uh, work in the Baby Beast as well, and they're far better. They're the ones for the NRG tank. They work in the Baby Beast as well. Okay. Um, no, Ryan just sent me a question, and it's not good. Because there's too many different sites. 
Well, I, I, I'm no good at questions. Okay. Well, we need to get a reg along because we've only got four minutes of the show yes. left, so. Well, ask it then, Ryan. <laughs> Sorry, just sent me a message. I just told him to ask, it, ask a question. I've got to have to double check this one. Right. Um, as some of you may not already know, I'm a big rugby fan. First one to um, get the answer for the last Ulster rugby score. And that will be either be in your rep or whether it's in the league. You tell me on who the who the game was against and what the score was. So, what was the last score for the last Ulster rugby match? Get googling, folks. And that's to win the limitless RDPA. Kindly donate it in the first thing by Daniel, and then um, piffed back into it by Bunny. <laughs> it's yours. Oh, shit balls. Not into it. That's not what I hear, Ashtrays. <laughs> <laughs> Quick little Google search, I'll get you there. Have you got the answer, Ryan? Yeah. I do, yes. Yeah, that's good. But yeah, pass on that. <laughs> Kerrigan doesn't want it. There we go, VH reviews. Nope. Nope. Didn't play no, Saracens. Is it the right score though? Nope. Oh, hiya Mush. It's been quiet no, and comes in with a... Mush. <laughs> yeah, Mush has been there most of the night. Has he? Mm-hmm. Rainbow's close on it. I'll be honest, I don't I I don't remember. <laughs> so uh no Andy. <laughs> Mush got it right. Mush, Mush? Yeah. Mush. Well, well done, done, Mush. Mush, uh, congratulations, and if you would like it, please let us know. <laughs> and you moaned the number picker was slow. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Would you like the RDTA? Yes, he would. Yes, um, Karika, would you be a sweetheart and pop in the link for the winner's form for Mush, please? And yes, big thank you once again to Daniel at Vape City Reviews for uh, supplying us with that to give away. Can't the website still down. Oh, bummer. Um, Mush, if you're on Facebook, if you want to message either the Grumpy's page or the Bitches page. Yep. Yep. Um, and well, it'll probably be better message on the Grumpy's page because it'll be you who'll be sending it out. Yeah, so you message the Grumpy's page. Um, or, well, uh, Carrick has put the link in for the uh, Bitches page. Oh, he's not on Facebook. <coughs> um, you can send me email. send me an email. That's okay if you put the, your email in, then he can sort that for you. There we go. <laughs> so you can either email Gailey or me and um, we'll get it out to you. There you go. Sorry, and congratulations, Mush. Well done, congratulations. Mush. And uh, <laughs> thank you for popping on, Ryan. Um, hey, sorry, so it's my pleasure. This is the coming to us, so I've oh, actually ran over a little bit. So I just need to see if Mott... Nightbot. Your wish is my command, leaders. <laughs> yeah, he asked for another time out to warm the step up before he left, so... <sighs> oh, dear Daniel. But yeah, thank you very much, Ryan, for uh, popping on. Uh, Zan, right. you absolute living legend, thank you very much for hosting us. Exactly, Zan. And thank you, Zan. 
to each and every one of you in chat. Thank you for stopping by and talking shit with us for the past two hours. <laughs> Language young lady. Shut up, Dad. Thank you. Thank, you <laughs> thank you very much to everybody in chat and congratulations um, to the, the, the two winners this evening. Um, hope you get use out of the, the tanks and the dripper. Yes, and, uh, congratulations to the winners. Next um, show, the next show coming up on VUKN, just to give it a little plug, is The Bitches on Friday night. Yes, Touchwood, we will be there 6pm Friday 6 evening. 6pm, then followed by Foggy Friday. Um, if you haven't already done so, give the uh, VUKN group, join it, come and join us on that. Also come and join the, come and join the Grumpies, the Jumpy Old Grumpy Old... The Jumpy Old Vapors. Oh, <laughs> I can't speak, it's... Grumpy old buggers. Yeah. Yeah. It's yes, just so one. Of, it's been join, one of those. Join whatever groups we put links in for. <laughs> and <laughs> and um, subscribe if you haven't already. As well, you can also um, go to Higgies if you haven't tried some of their juices. Get over there. Steve, um, I'm with you on that. Oh, and by the way, folks, just on a, a sidebar before we go, don't forget to pop over and. Uh, give your support to the New Nicotine Alliance because without them we would have no rights when it comes to vaping. So yeah, big shout out to those guys. Thank you and thank you very much to um, to Carriga again for all the hard work she puts in in the background and keeping yes, the links you, updated and leader. everything else. <laughs> <laughs> right, yep, that's it. Peace out people. Peace out right, guys. Peace. Bye -bye.